because the Fantastic Four are on their way too. Patrick Sinson's got a preview of the fun to come. Your entire biophysical structure is changing. It's terrible news. I think I'll get a second opinion. You're not one of the Fantastics. No, but I am fantastic yeah. in my own kind of way. <laughs> Julian McMahon just can't get away from playing a doctor. He's not doing any nip-tuck in the new sci-fi thriller Fantastic Four, or is he? With a name like Victor Von Doom, you kind of think, you wonder whether things are going to go downhill a little bit. I mean, he kind of turns into this nasty guy over a long period of time. It's not for the last, like, ten minutes of the movie that he kind of becomes this prosthetically bound, you know, large, indestructible human being. Victor, you always thought you were a god. Let's not fight. No. Let's. Now to our fantastic heroes. What if we got these powers for a reason? And how did you end up being called Mr. Fantastic? Well, I mean, it's an incredible uh, sort of name, really, that was sort of given to him by uh, one of the other characters in, in the movie. So he becomes Mr. Fantastic. He's not so fantastic at the beginning of the movie, but uh, yeah, it's, he sort of becomes this incredible leader of the gang. And by his side is Jessica Alba as the Invisible Woman. Look at me. I can't. We did everything in our power to educate ourselves on the Ultimate Series. He's hitting him from his core. You don't want to walk around on fire for the rest of your life, do you? Is that a trick question? Chris Evans is definitely feeling the heat as the Human Torch. I'm on fire, yeah. <laughs> on yeah. fire. Yeah. Just like his career. And Michael Chiklis is solid as a rock as The Thing. I'm trapped in a body I don't want to be in. It's clobbering time. 